summertime fun kicks off and the kids dive right in, loving every minute in the water. But the likes of E. coli, Giardia, and Cryptosporidium could be lurking with them. So we reach down in and take a sample. Joe Herod with Columbus Public Health Water Protection is on the front lines of testing pool water. We're still just a little bit from being clear. They test and license 750 so pools, spas, and spray fountains around the city. And the big worry? A drop in chlorine levels. But a major problem would be low chlorine levels. Um, we want to make sure that chlorine is at one part per million and, and actually get an adequate disinfection. This green sign means they've tested without it. It can make you very sick. Columbus Health Commissioner Dr. Teresa Long says the big bug they watch for is cryptosporidium, a small waterborne parasite. It's a little parasite that's got a nice shell around it. So indeed, chlorine doesn't get at it so fast. So you need a lot of chlorine over a period of time. And crypto has been a problem in Columbus in the past. 2008 was a big year, getting more than 300 people sick. Dr. Long says we are usually the ones bringing these illnesses into the pool. So we need to shower before getting into the pool and wash your hands before eating. If you have a gastrointestinal disease, if you have diarrhea or any of your kids do, stay away from the pool.